What's up guys? I know it's been way more than a week or two since my last video. Um, life's just crazy like that. You start trying to do a renovation on your house and other stuff and uh, your car projects kind of get put on the back burner. Uh, but I'm back. I'm hopefully going to be able to be a little more consistent in the videos. Uh, the next step on this 6.5 Suburban build is to tear this motor down and try to figure out what all's wrong with it. Um, it starts up and fires, but it came out of a truck that had around 300,000 miles. So we're gonna tear it down. It is a 599 block. Uh, we're gonna send the block off to the machine shop, get it checked out real good. Um, I have no idea what the status of the cylinder walls is, of the, um, the, bearing, the bearings on them or anything. So we're just gonna tear it down, do an engine autopsy, and uh, go from there if we need to if we need to have it bored out, we'll have it bored out. If we need new pistons, we'll go that route. Um, being that it's got around 300,000 miles on it, I'm guessing the heads are probably cracked around the um, pre-combustion chambers. Um, if that's the case, I do have another motor that's got a broken crank that was lower miles. Um, we'll take the heads off of that and see if they're good. And if not, well, we'll be buying new heads for it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so we got all the oil pan bolts off. I'm gonna pull this thing and see if there's any junk in here or see what the inside of this thing looks like. Nothing too crazy, it's looking like an old engine. Here's what you really need to look at though. There's the oil pan. So there's a lot of sludge. If you look right here, there's just, there's a lot of, a lot of gunk in here. I'm not feeling anything sandy or, or gritty, which I guess is a good thing. Well, not that I would expect to find that up in the valve train. Um, definitely probably wasn't taken care of with regular maintenance, like I would take care of a vehicle. Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So we're gonna keep tearing this thing off. I'm gonna take the uh, rocker, rocker arms off, get the heads pulled off. Hopefully by the end of this, by today, um, I'll have the heads off and I'll know what I need to do. All right, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to put new rocker arms and push rods or cams in this thing yet. Um, so since I may be putting all this stuff back the way it was, I'm gonna mark everything, make sure every push rod goes back in the hole it came out of, uh, make sure that the um, rocker arms don't get mixed up with other ones, just so that wear patterns when it goes back together all stays the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll start pulling the heads off. Why are my hands so dirty? Because I'm working on an engine and engines are really dirty. Why should what? I'm not sure what you're saying, sweetie. All right, I'm loosening these head bolts quarter turn at a time in a spiral pattern going from inside to out. And then I'll throw an impact zip them the rest of the way out. And then we'll take the heads off and see what all they look like. Got all the head bolts out or loosened. I'm gonna pull them out real quick and then we're gonna take this head off. I think this is gonna be the most revealing part of this to see what kind of condition the tops of the cylinders and, and pistons are in and, um, and the heads themselves. I don't know why I thought that that would just pop off. Turns out I'm a complete idiot. I completely forgot the four bolts that are on the outside of the head gasket or the valve cover gasket. So yeah, that's why I couldn't get the head off. 
So hopefully now it should lift right off. You're not an idiot. Okay, I'm recording. Don't talk like that. I'm saying stuff for comedic. Crap. That's all for today. I didn't get as far along as I was hoping to go. Um, I really wanted to dig into the block a little more, but after this fiasco with the head falling off, uh, I need to reset and get cleaned up. Um, in the next video, we're going to really focus on, on the health of this engine, what all we're gonna have to do to rebuild it, um, whether it's gonna need to get bored over or not. And I won't, I won't know those until I take the, take the block to a machine shop. Please subscribe. Um, it's a new channel. It really, it really make me feel great if you subscribed. Uh, help me out. Share the word. Share the video. Um, I'm hoping to do a lot of really cool stuff with this suburban. Um, so please follow along. It'll be a long journey. It's going to be a, a a project of love from from me. Uh, I love this. I love these trucks. I've I love this particular suburban. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to kind of restoring it. I'm not really want to do anything crazy. I really want it to have a really clean classic look. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to put big old aluminum wheels on it. I might just keep the, the standard stock uh, steel wheels. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you think I should do as far as tires and wheel package? Should I lift it, um, leave it stock? I'd love to hear your comments. Love to hear what you guys have done with your trucks. Um, so, hey. Until next time, thank you.